Another thing I wanted to show you was that page label thing that I was mentioning, and I'll explain this a little bit better. So this drawing, see at the bottom, close out of this tab, pages six of 86 also shows up in here, page six. You can see it says six and then scale not set on there. And then also in the markups panel as well, it says page six. Now, this is actually page 2B2, and it would be way better if we could get, especially when we export them into from Excel, if we get those comments to be on the right page number. So there's actually a really easy way to do that in Bluebeam, which is another really cool feature of Bluebeam. Now I walked before I showed you these, these bookmark tabs. Now these bookmarks are basically shortcuts to each sheet that are created when we print the files. And you can actually link these to your page number. And the way you do that is by going up to the document, then you go to create page labels. And this is also available under, this is where I normally do it, under the thumbnails tab, this little create page labels button. If I hit create page labels, it's gonna change this page label here. So I can either pull it from that bookmarks, those shortcuts, or, and I'll do this in a second, but I'm gonna start with the bookmarks. The page region actually lets you pick a spot on the page and it scans that information, scans the text and then and then brings it in. I just I just did the page labels. That was really quick from the bookmarks. You can see now this says plot O1C. And if I, if I save this file, it will update and I'll update in here. I'm not sure that it, it should work. Something, something went funny. Try one more time. Huh, all right, well. Worked the several times I did practice rounds, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other one, which I find even uh, more powerful, which is the page region. If I click page region here, I can actually select a spot on my, on my page. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than I think, because some of the pages may have an A or may have like two G6, take a little bit more space. And I'm gonna hit okay. This takes a little bit longer because it has to scan each page. And something's funny going on. Oh, never mind, it's working. 16. Okay, it's showing it correctly. Maybe I had it going before correctly. But you see 1A, now it shows up right there. It shows up in your thumbnail bar and it should show up in here. Here you go. If we did it with the bookmarks, it would show up and it would say, it would say plot sheet dash 2B1. You know, it still works, but it's not as, as pretty. And if you guys want to get really advanced, you can actually make multiple regions. Let me go to a different... People are sending me chats, which is not let me... Here we go. Simple sections. Let me go to one that's a little bit later. Like you can see, it messed up a little bit. You know, I grabbed a T here. I probably grabbed the T from from there. It's it's not perfect. Not a perfect tool, but here's an example. So if I hit this page region, I'm gonna try to make it not too big this time. And I can actually make another page region here. A little thing. And add another one. And you can see it's giving you a little preview. It might take a tiny bit longer here. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay. So now. You can see it's pulled in quite a bit more data. And again, you know, probably made more mistakes as well, but I think this is uh, pretty cool. And if I save the drawings, they should show up correctly over here. Here we go. You can see you know, Southeast Rhone Street, pretty, pretty helpful. This little thing. Now, if I export, export this as an Excel file, it just makes it a little bit easier for everyone to figure out where, where the data is coming from. Play around with that as you want. I don't know if this actually worked. I think it did work pretty well. There you go, it's a 2F3. Yeah, oh, one more thing I'm gonna show you with comments. Remember Sabrina's comments that she gave, they had only, she only had the pages that had the comments on them. She didn't include blank pages. Now, while that's a little bit annoying for importing comments, it is actually really nice for drafting because they're not, you know, given 90 sheets and then only 10 of them have comments on them. It's just, it's a pain in the butt for them. And you could go through individually and pull them out, but that's tedious. Why not automate, right? If you go into your comments bar, you go in here, hit control A, or you could, I guess you could do select all in there. And now you can see it's actually only selected some of the sheets. You can see it's only highlighted some of the documents. So if I right click on one of those ones that it's highlighted and I go to extract pages, it's giving me the option to do all pages current, or I can just pick the selected ones. If I can just export out just the, just the pages that have comments on them. 